My name is Sarah with SA Title Girl. Welcome back. The sun is setting on this day. I did not want the sun to go down without posting this video. And today we're going to be talking about the five W's of personal branding. I've been sitting on this video for a while. I've been wanting to talk more about personal branding because a lot of people ask me, I'm not really sure, Sarah, about a personal brand. I don't know where to start. So I started thinking about this more and more, and that's where these videos came from. So today, we're only gonna focus on one W. So that means this video is going to be a series of five, maybe six videos. We're gonna look today at the who of personal branding. So we're gonna start with the who. You're gonna have some homework if you're up for the challenge. You're gonna work on the who this week, and then next week, I'm gonna post a video on the what, and we'll go from there. And by the end of the five or six week series, you should have a very robust personal brand. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Sarah. As I said earlier, welcome to my channel. I'm excited you're here. I want you to consider um, subscribing to my channel. If you've watched my videos before and you've not subscribed, I want you to confidently click that subscribe button that you're looking at right now. It's in red. And then I also want you guys to click the bell so you can get notifications every time I post a new video. If you don't have a personal brand, I wanna encourage you to watch this video, a video I posted two weeks ago about how to stand out with your personal brand. And then I wanna encourage you to watch the videos that I'm gonna post in the next couple weeks because I'm gonna walk you through all the W's that you need in order to create a solid personal brand. You may have a a really solid business brand, right? The brokerage that you work for, or if you're a lender, maybe the, the mortgage company that you work for. But it's important more than ever, especially now, to stand out with a personal brand. So let's take a look today at the who. The who is gonna be broken down into two parts. So we're gonna walk through that today. I'm gonna to show you how to take action immediately today by the end of this video, by walking through some of the things that I'm gonna to suggest today. So let's get started. The who when it comes to personal branding, as I said a moment ago, really is the cornerstone in my opinion. If you don't work on the who, then I think there you run the risk of your personal brand missing the target altogether. So the who is two parts. The first part is you. You are the who, the who is you, you are your personal brand, okay? Let me say that again. You are the who, the who is you, you are your personal brand. So what do I mean by you are the who? You need to make sure that you know who you are and what you're about. Now, for some of you, you might be saying, Sarah, that's like a lifelong journey. Who am I? I don't know, I'm 40, I still don't know who I am. That's like the age old question, right? I'm not talking about like laying down on a couch and having a counseling session. But I am saying that you need to take a good hard look in the mirror and say, who are you and really what are you about? How can you translate that onto paper so that it can later be translated into building a personal brand? The second one you're gonna wanna stick around for because it's not about you, it's about them. People do business with people in this industry and they wanna be able to know, like, and trust you. So there's a way that you can begin to say, who am I as a person? Sit down and do some journaling, some writing. If you want some free resources that will help walk you through some of those exercises, in the comment section below right now, I want you to say, send me the stuff. Send me the stuff, Sarah, I want some help. Um, and I will be happy to send you some of those resources that will help you walk through the basics of personal branding. The next thing you wanna talk about is who I, am I when it comes to how I wanna do business? What kind of service do I wanna provide? What are my values? Have I written down my values? And how do I want that to translate into maybe a mission statement, which is another video and we'll talk about that later. So what kind of information do you have access to that could position yourself as the expert so that when people look at your brand, they associate you with wisdom, knowledge, and expertise. So those are things to keep in mind when you're building your personal brand, looking specifically at yourself. So once you've figured out who you are and what you're about, you can also start to look at who is your ideal audience or who is your ideal client? You cannot be all things to all people. I can't be all things to all people. My brand is actually going to draw in and attract certain people and it's actually gonna repel other people. So once you know who you are and what you're about and you begin to target your audience and say, here's who I am looking to create content for, here's who I'm looking to do business with, here's who I'm looking to attract, it will simplify things in so many ways. Creating a personal brand doesn't have to be completely overwhelming, which is why I decided to create a series of these videos. Again, in the comments section, I want you to say, send me the stuff, Sarah, if you'd like some resources on values, 
um, identifying personal brand traits and how to start the process of building a personal brand. It's actually better not to have a brand at all than to build an inauthentic one. And I really want you to remember that because if you build something that's not authentic and doesn't reflect really who you are, you're not gonna be able to sustain it. You wanna build a brand that people can relate to and that feels like you, looks like you, and sounds like you. Don't forget that done is better than perfect. So if you build a brand and you have to tweak it in the coming months or even over the next year or two, that's okay. Make sure to tune in next week. I'll be talking about the what of personal branding. Check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.